Hey, what's up, YouTube? Thank you so much for stopping by for today's Top Tweaks video. In today's video, just like last one, I wanna talk about iOS 14 and jailbreaking and talk about some of these awesome tweaks that were made for iOS 13 that I'd love to see in iOS 14. But before we get into today's video, I really wanna address something special. Thank you guys so much for the incredible support over the years. It's been an incredible journey. We're about to hit 1 million subscribers. And seriously, it is kind of an emotional moment. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much for the support, guys. We could not be here without you. Anyhow, let's go ahead and get directly into today's video. The tweaks lists as well as the source list are located down below in this video's description. Without further ado, let's get into things. All right, so like I said at the beginning of this video, this is going to be a continuation of my previous video. So some of the tweaks from that one are going to be in this one. Again, we're going to be taking a look at some of my brand new favorite tweaks that have been released or updated recently for iOS 13. And again, these are tweaks that I would love to see Apple take inspiration from. Something like this, for example, called Melted Crayons. I mean, just look at this music experience. It has this awesome visual kind of visualizer in the background but it just fades through colors. The colors are picked from the album artwork. And again, this works for both Spotify as well as Apple Music. I mean, it looks so good to actually be on the song page in Spotify. Who would have thought? But anyway, Melted Crayons. So let's go ahead and go to the home screen. One that I'm really excited about is called Arc. And it looks something like this. You guys can pin either applications or things like multitasking. You can basically pin a bunch of stuff here, return to the last app. So uh, music right there, or Spotify. You can also have this take a screenshot. So if I let go, it automatically takes a screenshot. So a lot of functionality. And again, this one's called Arc, but um, it's just a super cool tweak. You can open up applications or have it do a bunch of other stuff. It looks kind of like an interesting alternative to to uh, assistive touch, that's what I was thinking of. Yeah, it looks kind of like an alternative to assistive touch. Anyhow, that one's called Arc. You can invoke this gesture from either the top right or you can change it to the bottom right, wherever you guys wanna have it, but super cool tweak. Next up, AirPay, look at this. Oh my God, a brand new redesigned Apple Pay experience. You guys have dark mode as well as light mode, but now it's no longer full screen and it looks super cool as a card at the bottom, kind of like the AirPods card or something like that. That's what it reminds me of. Anyway, super cool tweak for AirPay. I mean, really the crazy part about these tweaks is they're beginning to look like stock iOS. This no longer looks like jailbreaking anymore. Uh, this is becoming so fluid and so modern looking. Anyhow, would love Apple to take inspiration of this, get rid of the full screen Siri interface, get rid of the full calling interface, and while we're at it, redesign this Apple Pay splash screen. So one cool one that I want to show everyone within the multitasking pane, yes, I'm using Gesto, but the tweak I actually wanted to cover in today's video is called Quit All. It adds that nice little clear button in the nav bar up at the top. You guys can just click clear. I don't know why it didn't clear Spotify, but I must have, I might have that tweak where uh, it won't quit out of the now playing application or anything that's playing music. Anyhow, for the majority of your multitasking tweaks, aside from anything now playing, if you guys have a bunch of stuff open and you want to quit out of them all at once, quit all is an awesome tweak. And again, it looks super cool. It really, it makes sense that you would have a quit button right up there. Uh, similar to what the rearrange application, uh, the, this little thing right here, the done button, what that looks like, that's exactly what that reminds me of. And it fits in so nicely. Again, all of these tweaks in today's video just look so cool. They really, I could see any one of these being in iOS 14. So one quick thing that I really hope they do fix or adjust in iOS 14, right now on the iPhone 11 Pro or any of these new devices, if you guys want to like say if uh, if I have my cursor there and I want to move it, you have to hold down on the space uh, key to then have your cursor come up as like a trackpad type of thing. Well, with this tweak called Any Key Trackpad, you now have that same functionality across the entire keyboard once again. This is kind of how it was on the iPhone XS or anything earlier with uh, Force Touch. You could do it on any key and it, it works just fine. So I really hope they add that functionality to any key and not just the space key. 
So one of my favorite tweaks has been updated in the settings app. It's called Shuffle. It puts all of your tweaks into one category, just like that. It really cleans up the settings app. Again, Shuffle adds this little logo if you guys want to add your own custom picture. I also have better settings going on. That's what's giving this this pure OLED black uh, settings interface. You can change it much more than what I have in this video. And kind of as a side bonus, I have cask for these animations. So another one of my favorites that was just recently updated once again, if I go to the lock screen, now we have an OLED interface, and this is probably my favorite one. Again, I have a couple other tweaks going on here, complications, calm here for the time. I think I have a quick LS for these little buttons right here, but again, I'll go ahead and lock my device. Check that out. It's an awesome OLED, always on display interface on the lock screen. I think it looks super cool and that it is like one of my most requested features in iOS 14 is an always on display or something like that. Um, especially when you wake up at night and you just wanna see what time it is. Something that's not just blaring in your face with a bunch of colors and crap like that. Um, it's super awesome and I'd love to see that in iOS 14. Anyway, again, this tweak is called Lisa and it's one of my all time favorites. So as you guys probably know, in my last video, I showed you guys Prism. Well, by the same developer, he has a new tweak that's coming out very soon called Quart. And it basically stylizes your notifications in a similar way, in a similar manner to that of Prism. So if I go ahead and turn on dark mode, look at that. Super awesome rounded notifications, your music widgets and other things that come up on your lock screen. And uh, even when it kind of pops down here, here at the very top, they all look super cool. Anyway, I think I just cleared my notifications because that's one of the features. If you just pull down, it will actually clear all the notifications. But I hope you guys caught a glimpse of Court Beta 4 right now. It's coming out pretty soon. So a new tweak that just recently came out is called Paste and Go 2. Just wanted to show you guys that I'm on Apple's website in Safari. Safari. Well, if you guys have to touch on the Safari icon and you click paste and search, whatever is in your clipboard will automatically search for in Google within Safari. Super cool tweak, makes life a little bit easier. This was again another small one that I really like. If you guys go to rearrange apps and they are in wiggle mode, it now shows the size of the application so you guys can figure out which applications are big uh, just by scrolling through your springboard and you can figure out what things you want to delete. Anyhow, that one's called Size Finder. So you guys can use sugarcane for this, but check this out. I have my volume percentage right there on the small volume HUD just like that. I don't know if that's the best way for this to be implemented, but it's really nice to know the percentage of your volume. And again, this one's done with volume percent. So this one's gonna be kind of hard to demo, but I really like this one. As you guys can see, there's a cursor following my finger, and it's actually uh, displaying a cursor wherever I'm touching on the screen. This one's called Touch Flow, and it makes screen recordings super awesome. So you can actually explain to your friends or family, uh, you can show them on screen where you were actually touching. If I'm showing you guys tweaks or something like that, how they work, navigating with Insidia or other applications, you can actually see where your finger is on the screen. Anyhow, super cool tweak that I wanted to show you guys. Anyhow, here's a closer look at Quartz. Again, I have the music player up now. That's what that looks like. It all flows super well with Prism. If you guys have that control center installed, it all looks super great together with complications with Calm, all of these other tweaks, they go great together, guys. Even like V-Locks on the home screen really gives iOS a new feel to it. And again, now that widgets are pretty much confirmed on the home screen in iOS 14, V-Locks is even more relevant than ever. Widgets like Spotify, or if you want to expand weather, uh, it's super easy to do so. If I just rearrange this over here, uh, and then I will expand it just like that. This is exactly how it's supposed to work in iOS 14, and I can't believe we already have this in iOS 13. Anyway, back to today's Top Tweaks video. Again, some of those that I just talked about were from our last video. Definitely check that out if you've yet to. 
So those are some of the new tweaks that have been released recently that I would love to see in iOS 14, but there's also been some awesome updates to some of the tweaks that I've talked about in my last video. For example, DynaWall now has support for live wallpapers. Again, this is the tweak that lets you set a custom wallpaper for either light or dark mode. So I have this one applied right now. As you guys can see, I'm in my light mode setting. If I go ahead and toggle on dark mode, the wallpaper changes. So going back to Prism real fast, again, this is the control center alternative. Look at this new module. This is power module for Prism. It looks super cool. And right below that, there's a new battery module as well. And another tweak that was updated is mobile goose or mobile geese now. You can now have multiple geese on your screen at the same time. Gets a little crazy, but again, with a mobile goose module, you can actually toggle that on and off directly within Prism or the control center. So very lastly, the last major update I wanted to talk about is uh, within Cydia itself. Now for uh, A12 and A13 devices, it actually works and runs in the background. Before, like the second you left Cydia, uh, the application would no longer be open. So if you went to open it again, it would basically start from scratch. And as an example, I have this uh, screen recording. I'll go ahead and play for you demoing that behavior just so you guys can see the difference real fast. Let me go ahead and grab that. So check this out. You guys go ahead and open up Cydia. Wait for it to load for just a second. All right, Cydia is loaded. You exit out. And when you went back into Cydia, it was already, the backgrounding never was enabled. You had to reload it again from scratch. But I'll go back to Cydia now out of my screen recording and look at that. It's still running in the background. So that's an awesome fix right there. Super cool that it's actually working how you would think it should from the get-go. Anyhow, those are some major updates to some of the tweaks as well as Cydia that have happened in the past few weeks. Again, there's so many tweaks that have come out that I did not have time to cover in this video, and they're located down below in our Best Tech Info website. So some additional tweaks for you guys. I really wanted to make this video pretty special. Anyhow, speaking of additional tweaks... So as a bonus, couple tweaks too that I wanted to cover in today's video. One is called Dotto Plus, and it puts these awesome notification dots right there. It redesigns them a little bit and the notification colors based on the application color, and it just looks super, super clean. Now, the other tweak that I wanted to show you guys is called Dawn. Now, as you guys can see, my dock is themed in the dark mode right now. Same with my uh, folder backgrounds, uh, my widget backgrounds right here. All of that is dark. And right now I'm actually not in dark mode. As you guys can see, if I toggle it on, now I'm in dark mode. My wallpaper changed thanks to adaptive wallpapers. Anyhow, now that I'm in dark mode, my dock is still dark. Basically what this tweak does is it allows for a more customized dark and light mode. You can have uh, dark widgets and dark dots in light mode or vice versa. Super awesome tweak. Again, that one's called Dawn. Anyhow, those are the tweaks I wanted to cover in today's top tweaks video. Again, thank you, thank you, thank you guys so much for the incredible support and for stopping by. All of the tweaks as well as all of the sources you will need to install them are located down below in this video's description. I've included all of the ones in this video as well as a bonus list of about 20 more tweaks that I've found over the past couple of weeks to be interesting. Anyhow, definitely check out the entire list on our Best Tech Info website. Thank you guys for stopping by. I'll be back real soon, but until next time, this is Tony signing out.